I just received a big package of the best steaks in the world from Layla's husband. I heard that this grass-fed meat is super expensive and very hard to get. We're going to have a real feast tonight. Boy, Layla really married a super nice guy. Why couldn't you be more like your sister, Selena? Why can't you find a nice guy like Paul? Always thinking about the family. Please, not this again. Is it so wonderful that you marry some rich guy that buys you stuff? You make her out to be some kind of saint or something. Excuse me? That's overemphasizing it a bit, don't you think? I'm just sick and tired of hearing the same thing over and over, that's all. So is that all you wanted to say? If it is, I'm pretty busy now. So you don't even go out of your way to try and know anything about my fiancé? If you're going to go on and on and on about it, I would really like to cut it short. It's that attitude that I can't stand. Can you do something about that? You went ahead and refused that little blind date I arranged for you with that rich and handsome guy last month. You didn't even bother to meet him. I pulled strings to get that arranged. You know, so embarrassing. When I heard you turned him down, you had the gall to cancel. So I figured you must have had a pretty good reason, but it turns out that this guy, this fiance of yours, is some shabby looking penniless guy. For Pete's sake, where in God's name did you find this guy? You never listened to me, Selena. Always disobeying me at every turn. How could I not give you an earful every now and again? Mom, I don't live my life solely to get your approval. I've got my own life to worry about. See what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That attitude of yours. Please, Mom, are you going to start up with that same old senseless rambling? You're always going on and on about it being a waste of time to text me online. So why text me? Nine times out of ten, it's you that first sends me a line. Did you know that? What is there to talk about? Most of the time you just ramble on about the same old thing and I'm sick of it. Oh, I see. Well, well, well. It seems like you feel that it's an absolute pain in the rear to get a simple line from your dear old Kate, huh? Is that what you're saying? I can't help but wonder if there's a hint of jealousy simmering beneath the surface. Yes, that must be it. You're just green with envy because your sister Layla always manages to be so nice to me. You've got some kind of grudge against her, don't you? She's got a nice, rich husband. And look at you. Oh, the envy is practically oozing out of your pores. Is that seriously all you've got to say? That's the grand reason why you bothered to text me? If you're finished with your petty accusations, I would really appreciate it if we could cut this painfully unproductive conversation short. I've got more important things to attend to, you know, like my actual work. Excuse me? Are you even listening to me? I'm pouring my heart out here, trying to make you understand the depth of your resentment towards your own sister. And all you can think about is cutting the conversation short. How dare you? Not really, Mom. You see, I have a job, unlike some people. And right now I really need to pull the plug on this very enlightening conversation. Because, well, I actually have responsibilities and deadlines to meet. So if you don't mind, I'll bid you farewell. See you whenever. Unbelievable. You think you can just dismiss me like that? I'm your Kate for crying out loud. Show some respect. Respect? Respect is a two-way street, Mom. It's not just something you demand, it's something you earn. And quite frankly, your behavior right now is not earning you any respect from me. So if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my real life obligations. Goodbye, mom. Hey, Layla, how are you? About your husband. Apparently he sent some gifts to mom again. I think she said it was pricey steaks or something. He's always sending her costly stuff to her. Are you okay with all that? Uh, hey, Selena. Yeah, I just heard about that. Apparently, he's using your credit card to make these purchases and has them sent to mom, right? Sounds like he just goes online and picks whatever he wants and charges it on your credit card. Maybe you should cancel that card or something. 
I bet you dread getting the bill from that credit card company every month. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that, but I figured it would get this way. So I set a little trap for him. So don't worry. <laughs> a trap? What are you talking about? You set some kind of trap? Yeah, I'll explain it all when we meet on the weekend. You're coming over Saturday, right? Yeah, I'll be there. I want to hear about this little trap. By the way, why does your husband keep sending mom such high-end stuff? Steaks, expensive fruit from Europe. I remember he sent her that overpriced Kobe beef from Japan. That must have cost a fortune. I can understand if it was his real mom, but his Kaden-law? Doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess I never explained it all to you, did I? Explains what? About my husband's Kate. She's not his real mom. At least that's how he explained it to me. Really? No, you didn't tell me about that. Yeah, well, apparently his mom died when he was like 12 years old, and he was brought up by his grand Kate. His dad later remarried and he got along with his stepmom, but he wasn't really able to accept her as his real mom. Understandably, you met her, right? She's really nice and all. So maybe he feels this bond towards mom. Maybe he's hankering for some kind of affection. Oh, I get it. A bond, huh? Well, I can sort of understand that, but just because he has this affinity toward mom, does he have to use your credit card to buy pricey gifts for mom? Just doesn't seem right. I'm sure there are better ways to show appreciation, I would think. And trying to gain favor with a person like our mom? Yeah, well, he still doesn't know her. Well, I suppose that's also something I wanted to explain to you the next time we meet. Yeah, I'd love to hear it all. Anyway, I'm sure that you've got a handle on the whole thing. You always do. I don't have anything to worry about. I suppose. If you're in trouble or anything, don't hesitate to contact me, okay? I'll help you out any way I can. Yeah, I will. Thanks, sis. I can always count on you to be there for me. But aren't you pretty busy right now? I mean, with your wedding coming up? It's just three months away, isn't it? I bet you've got a never-ending to-do list. I sure did before I got married. If there's anything I can do to help out, don't hesitate, okay? Yeah, you got it. What are sisters for, right? Selena, are you seeing this text? If you are, answer me right now. I want to terminate this relationship and cancel this wedding you're planning today. I don't want to hear any nasty replies from you. This has gone far enough. Are you out of your mind, Mom? How could I do that on the day of my wedding? For God's sake, I have no desire to cancel this wedding. I love Mark, and I intend to marry him as planned. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So please, Mom, stop with this nonsense. Oh, don't worry, Selena. I already called the wedding hall and canceled the wedding. There must already be a sign outside announcing the cancellation, so the guests will be turning around and leaving about now. Wait, are you kidding me? You canceled the wedding? Yes. You remember that rich guy I set up that blind date with? Well, it turns out he just couldn't get you out of his mind. He wants to marry you. He says he'll pay $50,000 towards my retirement if you marry him. How could you turn that down, right? So I took the initiative and canceled the wedding. We'll arrange another wedding next month. It's all set. Have you totally lost your marbles? Mom, I'm not going to marry this guy. I only met him once at your place. And that was just by chance. The guy hardly knows me for Christ's sake. Besides, the wedding staff contacted me and verified it if I wanted to cancel. And of course, I said no, that it was some kind of prank. Apparently, they've had similar pranks happen in the past. I told them that the wedding will proceed as planned. As a matter of fact, most of the guests have already arrived, so the wedding is proceeding as scheduled. What? They just ignored my call. I'm your Kate, for God's sake. They can't do that. Yes, they can. Preparations are already being carried out. What am I going to do about the wedding next month? What am I going to tell him? 
And the $50,000? How the hell am I supposed to know? Work it out for yourself, mom. I have nothing to do with that. If you're against this marriage, so be it. I really don't care, mom. I also arranged a pre-wedding meeting at an expensive restaurant downtown tonight with this guy. What am I going to do about that? What should I tell him? I'm not going to let you marry that penniless lowlife. It's just not going to happen. You hear me, Selena? Mom, are you there? What the hell is wrong with you? Have you completely gone bonkers? Why the hell did you come dressed in all black like it was a funeral? The guests were totally horrified. I thought I told you that you weren't welcome if you were against this marriage. Oh, yeah. That I completely got things all mixed up is all. Got what mixed up? It was a wedding, for Christ's sake. I thought you were holding a wedding and a funeral at the same time. But that wedding was so shabby. Did it even matter if I came dressed in all black? Actually, it seems kind of fitting. <laughs> oh, is that right? I think I saw like maybe 30 guests in total. Really? Your sister had over a hundred. It was so inconsequential that the other guests probably mistook it for a funeral. Everyone seemed dead. <laughs> that was because you showed up in funeral gear. And what was up with that black veil? Anyway, after you got kicked out, the place livened up and it was very enjoyable. Thank you. And the reason why there was only a small number of guests is because if we invited everyone, it would get way out of hand. So we decided to just invite close friends and relatives. I really don't care why there were only a meager number of guests. That doesn't concern me one bit. My main purpose was to disrupt that wedding. I was willing to do anything to make a mess of your plans. And I bet it worked too. After such a shamble, his relatives were probably horrified and called the whole wedding off. Am I right? <laughs> now, that everything is over and this marriage is no longer a thing, Come on home. We have to get ready for the date tonight. Sorry, Mom, but I'm heading out for the airport now. We're flying to Hawaii on our honeymoon. Excuse me, honeymoon? You're not even married. That was canceled. No, it wasn't, Mom. After you were kicked out, it went on as scheduled and we got married. Everyone congratulated us, even his relatives. It was a beautiful wedding. We even stopped off at City Hall and submitted our marriage certificate. We are now officially married. Say what? You already submitted the marriage papers? Why didn't his relatives terminate the wedding? I made quite an impression today. They must have thought you had a crazy relatives and wanted nothing further to do with you. Your antics didn't really have much effect, to be honest. After you left, things immediately got back to normal. It was as if you were never there. Actually, I talked to the staff and all the guests beforehand about you, Mom. They were all prepared for what you would pull, although they were a bit flabbergasted that you would turn up in full funeral wear. You warned them about your own Kate? That I was a danger to the guests or something? Yep, something like that, I guess. But it seems like there was someone who received money and assisted in this little scheme of yours. I wonder who paid him. Anyway, that person was identified early on, and the wedding hall staff took care of him. He will probably be let go. Just wonder if it was worth whatever you paid him. Pay who? What are you talking about? I have nothing to- Mom, I really don't care about that. Have you talked to Leela at all about my husband? You know about what he does. Pardon me? What does Layla have to do with this? Don't bring your sister into this. Yeah, I figured as much. You never had any interest in me, so you never bothered to ask about my fiancé. Now husband, just thought he was a... How did you describe him? A penniless lowlife, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Did you know that Mark, my husband, is related to Layla's husband? They are, you know? They're cousins. But you didn't know that. Excuse me? Mark is his cousin? Are you serious? And another thing that may be of surprise to you, he is slated to be the next president of the company that owns the subsidiary firm that Layla's husband works for. Uh, wait. Mark's going to be the president of the company that owns this other company? 
uh, this smaller subsidiary? Is that what you're saying? So he'll be in a more senior position than Layla's husband? No way. That doesn't make any sense. Then tell me why he was dressed like some maintenance worker when he came to our house last year. He sure didn't look like a man who was destined to be the president of a major corporation. I tried to explain that to you so many times. Mom, you just never listen. Don't you remember that time when you called and said that if I wanted to marry Mark, I had to bring him over within the hour or you wouldn't give us our blessing? Do you remember that? Yes, of course I remember. So what? What? I'm asking why he was dressed like some janitor. His father's company also runs several construction companies. And he was at one of the sites overseeing a current building project. A building project? Yes, that big waterfront project. He was overseeing that. So he couldn't very well go to a construction site in a suit and tie. When you gave us that ultimatum, well, he was an hour's drive away and had no time to change. So he hopped in his car, in his work clothes, and rushed over there. Why didn't you say something before? That you could have given me a heads up for Pete's sake. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have... I did, several times. Why didn't you tell me he was the next in line to be president of that company? The parent company to Layla's? Because I didn't want you to know that. Excuse me? Why didn't you want me to know? When Layla got married, you were jubilant that she had married a nice, rich guy and that you would enjoy the lavish gifts that would come your way. I just didn't want to hear any of that nonsense from you. Selena, you make me sound like some kind of self-serving gold digger. It's true, isn't it? I don't think I'm wrong in my assessment. That's all you're interested in. You don't care if I'm happy or not. That's not true. And another thing, Mom, that guy you tried to marry me off to. That guy is the epitome of poor. The thing you hate most, Mom? The guy is a penniless lowlife if there ever was one. Pardon me? That can't be true. When I told Mark about how you were trying to pawn me off to some guy, Mark did a little background check on him. First off, he verified that it was the same guy who I rejected one year ago. When you set up that first blind date, he dug a little deeper and learned that he embezzled from his company and got caught. He what? He's an embezzler? Yes, that $50,000 that you brought up seems pretty obvious where that money came from. You mean to tell me that guy is a con artist? A thief? That's right, Mom. Seems like you were wrong about Mark, huh? And you were totally wrong about me. With that said, I'm going to cut all ties with you, Mom. To be honest, I don't need you in my life. Wait, are you crazy? You can't just cut ties with me. I'm your Kate. You can never cut ties. Now that you married a rich guy even richer than Layla's, why would you cut your Kate out? There you go again. That's the exact thing that I hate about you, Mom. But I was only trying to... It's already been seven years since Dad passed away. You married him because he owned his company. And that's what attracted you to him, right? You were only interested in his money. And when he died, he left you a nice lump of money so you wouldn't suffer financially. But in less than two years, the money quickly dried up. So I ask you, Mom, why prey on us? I wish you would stop relying on us to maintain your lifestyle. Why not? You work and just support yourself? Dad gave you a chance to live a quiet life, but you squandered that, didn't you? How could you say that to your Kate? I worked hard all my life to bring you kids up. I deserve a little compensation. Well, I don't care because I still have Layla. She would never betray me like you have. She married a nice, rich man. She'll take care of me, at least. I have one daughter that loves me. She wouldn't betray her own Kate. I'm surprised you haven't heard yet. Layla got divorced a little while ago. Wait, what did you say? Divorce? Layla wouldn't get a divorce. It all started when her husband's Kate asked her to consider becoming the next president of the company. You're not making any sense, Selena. Are you talking about Layla? They want her to be president? Well, one thing led to another, and she was introduced to the president's son and married him, which turned out to be a huge mistake. But it turned out that her husband, although the son of the president, who runs a profitable company, was a real tightwad. A tightwad? You mean stingy with his money? 
Yeah, a real penny pincher, according to Layla. Did you know that all those gifts you got were bought using Layla's money? All charged on her credit card. He was able to use it all he liked because she had her credit card registered on that site, where you can buy just about anything. As long as he had the password. One click and he could buy anything he wanted. Only problem is, Layla had to pay the huge bill every month. He never spent a dime of his own money. But Layla laid a trap for him. She changed all the credit card information to his Kate's name. Huh? But wouldn't... Of course. She told her Kate-in-law about what she was going to do. Apparently, Layla had confided in her about her son's misdeeds beforehand. But most importantly, do you know what this means for Layla's husband? Uh, no. What? It means his father will learn that he was illegally using Layla's credit card to buy you all kinds of expensive stuff. He may be married to Layla, but he used her password and without her permission. And that's against the law. And the amount he used was pretty significant. Somewhere in the neighborhood of ten or twelve thousand dollars, apparently. Ten or twelve thousand dollars? That much? Are you serious? Layla used this as the main reason for divorcing him. But the good news is she got all of her money back. Well, long story short, she turned down the offer to take over the company as president and is currently looking for a new job and maybe a new husband. <laughs> she turned down that offer? Is she out of her mind? Does that mean she's unemployed now? What is wrong with her? How could she turn down an offer like that? She's my daughter for Christ's sake. She's supposed to take care of me and now she's jobless. What in God's name was she thinking? I never in my life thought my daughter would betray me like this. Both my daughters. Your rationale of what a daughter should be is skewed, if you ask me. Anyway, this has gone on way too long. What I want to say, as well as Layla, is that you're not going to get your way, Mom. Not now or ever. Get that through your head once and for all. But you can't just leave me to fend for myself. I can, and I will. Last but not least, just remember that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I hope you don't forget that, Mom. There is no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, Selena, please, let's talk about this. You and Layla. Sorry, Mom. We just arrived at the airport. Gotta go. See ya. I heard from Layla that she called her and told her she was cutting ties with her once and for all. Of course, she insisted that we meet and talk things through, but I wasn't having any of it. Once we arrived at the airport in Hawaii, I turned on my phone to find like a hundred messages from my mom. I skimmed through the messages, but most of it was what I expected of her, all about how it was a waste for Layla to turn down that offer, or about us talking things over and getting back together as a family. I was thinking of blocking her. After a while, I wanted to see how she could fend for herself before I completely cut her off. But my husband was more sympathetic than me. He went out of his way to find her a job working at one of the company's subsidiaries. My mom always despised work, and when she was forced to take this job, it was pretty hard on her, to say the least. But I hope that she learns the satisfaction of working hard. Maybe it will never happen, but one can hope, right?